Hualien, the worst hit area of Taiwan by this earthquake, the worst earthquake to rock Taiwan in 25 years. The epicenter just kilometers off the east coast of Taiwan, kilometers away from the city of Hualien, where I'm standing right now. You can see a group of shelters behind me here that have been set up to accommodate the people whose buildings have been damaged or destroyed by the earthquake. 18 buildings sustained significant damage, we were told by an official yesterday, in the city of Hualien alone. That's not even accounting for the county of Hualien that stretches around the city. That's where we also saw significant landslides. We spoke to one business owner who said the village opposite where she was living had been covered by rocks and rubble that had come down from the mountains behind the city. Hualien is a very touristy place. People come here to visit the mountains and there were big worries yesterday and today that people were trapped, or people missing in the mountains, trapped in tunnels and stuck there by the rubble that has blocked the entrances and exits of those tunnels. Uh, more than 50 people, dozens of people saw, thought still to be missing and others known to be trapped. Rescue efforts underway here to rescue people from collapsed buildings in Taiwan, uh, in Hualien and also in the mountains around us. Over a thousand people have been injured, but the death count is only nine, the same as it was yesterday. We spoke to some people here earlier. They said that they were scared for their lives in Hualien, that they cowered together in a corridor screaming. They said it felt like it was a movie, but it was real life. They've come here to escape the tremors that they were feeling yesterday. They were worried that their house was not going to be fit for them to live in anymore. Other people have come here because they've been worried about the aftershocks that have been felt. As you walk around the city, you can feel the ground begin to move under you at some points. And some people worried that their buildings will not be able to sustain the night if they don't come to a shelter like the one behind me.